always had good cars, but to where we were running, to have a driver of his caliber come and be part of our organization. I wanted to believe it, but it almost sounded too good to be true because you know we were running probably 20th to 35th on average every week, and why would Tony Stewart want to come here from Gibbs? <laughs> it was tough to believe. Does Tony Stewart really want to take a chance with us and come over? It sounded kind of crazy at the time. It was very exciting, you know, to be able to have the opportunity to work with a driver of, of Tony's caliber. But obviously, he saw something in um, the base core of the company. To think about where we were on day one when we went in there, and Ryan Newman and I were like, we're not exactly sure what happens, but we're all in, and we're going we're gonna to figure out how to make this work. Once Tony was on board, the caliber of people wanted to come work for us instead of having to hunt them down. The, those key people propelled us you know, to the next level. We all came here the Monday after Homestead in 2008, and we walked around and looked at everything, and we were like, oh, wow, we got a lot of work to do. It was pretty surprising right out of the bat. We were kind of a top 10 team just those first couple races. What a great accomplishment for Tony Stewart. This team, that organization, who would have thunk it? Tony Stewart <laughs> makes a million dollars. Hell that fits, man. Normally as a driver, you're like, yeah, we won a million dollars, and I get a really good percentage of that. And I remember more than anything, I didn't even care about myself. I was so happy first and foremost when I got in victory lane and I saw grown men that, that had tears in their eyes because they had never been to victory lane. There's a lot of emotion. You couldn't have wrote a movie script that would have been any better for me. Once we did get our first win, it was like, all right, we're here to stay. And then to have our partner, Gene Haas, there, the money didn't mean anything to him. It was the fact that he finally got in victory lane and, and to see that smile on his face meant the world to me. It was a weight off of our shoulders. We, we were able to celebrate, but then we kind of, you know, were able to take a breath and say, all right, yeah, we got this. To go out and win an all-star race like that really validated why we did what we did. Yeah.